I definitely know for a fact that there is an increase of hate crime. I remember very well when I came for the first time to Vancouver, I myself encountered a few of such slurs and you know hate sta statements and even as they say degrading dirty look because of how I appear and how I dress myself up and it definitely escalated over the years as you know things across the globe you know have also been very difficult and very problematic pro politically and elsewhere and elsewhere those things have definitely impacted our local communities where they started to harbor further animosity towards Muslim community. There is not any quick solution because th there was a recent um, you know, survey of our facility. One of the police officers came suggesting as a few changes possibly if we could incorporate in order to provide further security and safety to the congregation. But one of the big challenges is because it's a public place, right? It's not a private property where you put a sign, no trespassing, nothing is allowed. So it's a public place and we have, and our prayer is such that we, once we begin our prayer, our mobility is restricted. We have to spiritually, intellectually, physically, you know, uh, devote ourselves to the prayer. So you, you can't talk, you can't walk, you can, uh, other, for example, other traditions have certain types of flexibility in this regard. But our prayer is a direct connection between the person and the Creator. Therefore, once the prayer is on, you have to be fully into it. You cannot do anything else. So, and we cannot lock the door. People keep on coming and going. Those are the situations. Therefore, we cannot fully secure this facility. The source of uh, hate crime is people are not able to tolerate the differences. Uh, differences in personality, perception and opinion and whatnot. So if we see the diversity as a source of a strength. And this is in human nature. I mean, I, I can say for myself that you don't have to like everyone because we have our reservation. You know? On the other hand, disliking somebody is to be rational, reasonable, and within the limits. But when it escalates, that leads to hate, hatred, and that becomes a problem. So dislikeness is natural. But going to that level is a problem. So this is where we need to educate people where to draw a line and where to keep ourselves and our resentments and our feelings and emotions to ourselves that, that does not result into causing harm to the next person.